today is Monday, November 23rd, 2020. We are following a day four schedule. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Salute. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. And now, hear your morning announcements. Good morning, Borough School. Today is Monday, November 23rd, and we are wishing a very happy birthday to Cameron G. in fifth grade. Hope you have a good day, Cameron. Today's national day is National Eat a Cranberry Day. Found in acidic bogs throughout the cooler regions of northern of the northern hemisphere, cranberries are a group of evergreen dwarf shrubs, or trailing vines, that grow up to 7 feet long and 8 inches high. Their stems are slender and wiry, and they also have small evergreen leaves. Anyone celebrating this holiday will need to incorporate cranberries with other foods. Since cranberries have such a pungent flavor, they hold their own when baked, sautéed, boiled, blended, Today in blended, history, or- in 1859, infamous Western outlaw known as Billy the Kid was born. He was born in a poor Irish neighborhood on New York City's east side on November 23, 1859. People say, before being shot dead at age 29, Billy killed at least nine people in the American West. His first kill was in around 1876 when he worked as a ranch hand in New Mexico. He killed a group of reservation Apache Indians in the Guadalupe Mountains. Billy later found work as a rancher and bodyguard for English-born John Tunstall, a rancher who operated out of Lincoln, New Mexico. In 1878, members of a rival cattle gang killed Tunstall, and Billy became involved in the so-called Lincoln County War. Enraged at Tunstall's murder, Billy became a leader of a gang sent to arrest the killers. No arrests are made, however. Billy and his gang became a group of bandits who were always on the run. After more than two years, on the night of July 14, 1881, Sheriff Pat Garrett, a man who Billy had previously befriended, tracked down Billy at a ranch near Fort Sumner, New Mexico. Before the outlaw could offer his resistance, Garrett fired a bullet into his chest. Billy Good morning, viewers. Here is your sports update. Last night, the New York Jets flooded the San Diego Chargers 34-28 in California. Jets quarterback Joe Flacco threw for 205 yards and a touchdown, while running backs Frank Gore and the Michael Perrine provided the Jets' other two scores. Sam Ficken, New York's kicker, struggled last night, missing two extra points on a field goal, a combined total of which would have put the Jets within one. The Chargers were led by rookie quarterback Justin Herbert and receiver Keenan Allen, who combined for over 500 yards and four touchdowns. The Jets will take on the Dolphins next, while the Giants travel to an injured Cincinnati. <sighs> I'm having a slow start to the morning, folks. But I did a lot of exercise yesterday. The only thing I didn't do was get a good night's sleep. And my teachers are right. You need to be well rested. You can't stay up as late as I did watching TV. We all need a good night's sleep, so we're ready for the day. I'm gonna do that, stretch a little, and then get ready to get in front of the computer for period one. Hope you all have a great day. BTV.